Hey gang. We are chilling out, sitting on a bench, but this is not any ordinary bench. Travis surprised your girl. <laughs> we are checking in for a very special staycation at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I'm so excited. Jumbo. <laughs> we are so excited to be here. We have stayed here before. It was actually right when me and Travis like first started dating. Um, but we stayed at Kadani Villages. But this time, we are staying at Jumbo House, which means you guys are staying at Jumbo House. But they have to do something, right, to be able to stay there. You gotta come along with us. Come along. Come, come along. along. It's based off our name. And it's time to head into the lobby. We parked our car, super easy parking, and we're heading in. is just all the feels. It is so much fun to be checking in here. And we actually didn't have to go to the check-in. We did a mobile check-in because that's just what you do. They'll send us our room number as soon as our room becomes available and we can check in. And so while we're waiting for our room, actually, we are a little bit hungry. It's lunchtime and the room might not be ready till about four. We're hoping it gets done a little bit earlier so we can get in there. But luckily they have a little walk-up restaurant here called the Mara. So I think we're gonna grab a little lunch there so we can do a nice little dining reservation later. And Travis decided to get the Bray chicken flatbread. It's freshly prepared flatbread with sun-dried tomato pesto topped with oak-fired chicken pieces, bacon, red onions, mozzarella, and sag dal ranch drizzle for $11.99. And just for my mom, I'm gonna get something healthy. She's like, promise, get something healthy every once in a while, would ya? I'm gonna be getting the Marrakesh falafel platter. It's tabbouleh, cucumber, tomato salad, hummus, and tahini sauce served with pita bread for $11.99. And then when you're at Animal Kingdom Lodge, this is the only thing you need to eat, the zebra domes. It's a chocolate mousse baked with amarella cream liqueur coated with white chocolate drizzle with chocolate stripes and chocolate shavings for $4.59. All right, mom, aren't you proud of me? But this is only so I can eat those zebra domes. First of all, falafels are so good. Good and I haven't had them in such a long time. And so I think I wanna take all this, put it in a little bit of the pita bread here and make it like a little, little sandwich. So a little bit of the tabbouleh salad, a little bit of hummus, a little bit of the ranch. Ooh, this is already looking really, really good. Okay, a couple cucumbers, a little tomato, and our beloved little falafel. falafel. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Tastes very Marrakeshy. I love the mixture of the cold tabbouleh with the warmness of pita pocket and as well as the warm falafel and then the crunch of the vegetables on top. Who knew eating something healthy for your mom could taste this good? Dang, that flatbread looks so good, boo. What do you think? It's really good. It's got, um, oh, it's got something in there that almost gives it like a sweet a uh, little sweet aftertaste, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe, what is it? It's bacon, Yeah. I guess, or maybe the way that the chicken's marinated. I don't know, there's yeah. something. That's kind of like it. sweet and savory. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a little bite for sure. The lunch was fantastic, but really, this is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> These are the droids we were looking for. No, this is the only way to eat a zebra dome. You need a friend, you need to dink it and sink it. I can't, I can't sink the whole thing. Very, very good. Such a good little lunch place. They actually do serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. And it is like their walk-up restaurant. So it's a really easy, come grab a meal. And right across the way is the pool. We're not gonna get in it because it is, what is, what's the temperature? 
like 50. Yeah, like 50. With a low so. of 27 tonight, which is like <laughs> unheard of for Florida. So, yeah. And while we're over by the pool here, we heard they're kind of doing like an animal trainer thing where you can help them prep to feed the animals. So we're gonna go there and see if we can join in on the fun. Hello. Hello. Um, today we're actually we're giving them the treats. Like if you have a cat or a dog, do you give them any? Lots of treats. Yeah. Lots. <laughs> it's like that it will be enrichment for them. We have meat hall <laughs> right here. We have some biscuits. Ooh, biscuits. Right here. Yeah, we call it petting zoo. Yeah, petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you don't want to do is don't pack it too tight or they can't get it out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, otherwise, really um, just be as creative as you want to be. So basically this is like a really fun enrichment activity that they have us doing over here and they explained to us that what enrichment is is that it makes the animals a little more challenged to find their treats in here. So we're gonna stuff it with some hay and all different treats and then they will go and hang them for the animals to eat later on. They said you can make it as difficult as you want. That's don't pack it too tight. Yeah just not too tight. We see our first little savanna view over here, you guys. Look how adorable. What are these guys called? Do we know? Uh, and if you don't know the names of the animals, that's okay, because luckily they actually do have a little QR code viewing thing here. So you're just you guys gonna wanna pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you just wanna pull it up right there and it'll show you all of the wildlife that's over here at the animal overlook. So what did you say that he said they were, babe? They're like a... Uh... So these guys, I asked one of the trainers over here and he said that these guys are kind of like your OG, OG, like super old school African cows, like the first like ever rendition of cows. They're seen in like hieroglyphics back in the day. They're like your grandpa, <laughs> grandma's cows, cows. Yeah, and there's even now like a little wildebeest, I think right behind them too. Yeah. And here comes our guy. He's coming in the little savanna here to uh, to drop off our treats. Did you see that? Yeah, and they're gonna come over to the tree. Oh, yep. <laughs> he finally stood up. He knows the treats are coming. The wildebeest is standing, and now some gazelles have joined the action. Oh yeah, big boys coming to get. Oh yeah, big girls coming to get her treats. We literally just started our little Animal Kingdom Lodge journey and that was so fun to like be a part of the action and help the animals out. I do think our room is ready now, so we get to head there. We have made it to our little Disney Vacation Club, room 5572. Let's go take a look. Zebra. <laughs> oh yeah, it almost looks rhino. like Lion King style, you know, yeah. how they do Simba in uh, Lion King. It's kind of that mm -hmm. style. And then did you show them the... And then... Oh yeah, we oh, got the yeah. 50th coffee. Got the 50th coffee. Three in the morning. We'll, That's the thing only... she was most excited about. I was like, 50th coffee, but th this made me really excited too. Did you show them out there? When we booked this room, you know, it wasn't really a proper quote-unquote Savannah view, but it looks like we're kind of on the like the corner of the building so it's like we are getting a savanna view maybe more of like i don't know like a staging or a holding area still see the animals instead of just seeing a parking lot and one not so cool feature we can't pull our best paging mr morrow because you can't get under the bed what the heck yeah so we are just loving this room we did like we said got the standard view but i definitely count that as a savanna view look at this this is something you don't ever see what in rooms oh a ceiling a fan, ceiling fan. <gasps> oh yeah not that we need it we definitely don't need it no. with 50 degree weather but yeah it's that. good to know that they actually have a fan does it oh, work oh yeah it works the little things in life 
<laughs> There's really just one more thing to test if we truly love it. Ready? One, two, three. Uh. <laughs> Fluffiness approved. It's, I see our first little animal from our balcony. It's like a striped gazelle little deer. Or maybe one of those, I almost called it an amber, amber bock. I think that's a beer, but. <laughs> we have just been hanging out in the room. I know it's kind of crazy to like not want to leave this room and like maybe go to a park or something, but we get to go to the parks all the time. We don't get to be at Animal Kingdom Lodge all the time. So we're just hanging out in here for a bit and then I think we might try to crash this really awesome restaurant that they have here called Sanaa, which we have been to before. They also have a lounge and you can get the full bread service there. And that's really all I want to get. <laughs> so we're gonna hang out in here for a bit, but I am getting a little thirsty. And so we did show you that Disney's 50th coffee over there. It's, it's calling my name. It's coffeeing my name. It is a dark roast. So they gave us actually a lot of them. One, two, and three. So I think I'm gonna have one now, one for the morning, and then one to keep and take home with me. And just to put into perspective how close Animal Kingdom Lodge is to Animal Kingdom for you guys, literally right on the top of the trees, you almost can't see it because it blends in with the trees, but like that little mountain right there in the center of the screen, that is the floating mountains in Pandora. So we are literally right behind Animal Kingdom. So we have like a major problem. Cool. Well, it's not really a problem. We just don't want to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> we are so cozy. And sometimes when you do a staycation, like this is what you do. You just hang out in the room. You drink some Disney's 50th coffee. We've hung out on the balcony and like stared at one gazelle and some <laughs> and some buzzards and we're just loving it. We also, whenever we're at like any resorts, we like playing that game heads up. There is a Disney version and when you are on property, even at this hotel room or in the parks, you can actually download it for free on the heads up app. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's free when you're on property. So we went and downloaded it and now we're playing. Randy? Mm-hmm. Monster Inc. He's like so the main he, character. Mike Wazowski. Yes. Alice in Wonderland. He's White Rabbit. Mad Hatter. Yeah, Mad Hatter. Uh, it's a show at Hollywood Studios. Like they're only like spectacular there. Oh, Indiana Jones. No, Stop. it's closed right now for refurbishment. Oh, Fantasmic. Yeah. Twilight Zone. Oh, Rod. Tower of Terror. Yeah. Hollywood Tower of Terror. Yeah. Mickey's girlfriend. Minnie. Yeah. It's fish. <laughs> fish. Nemo? No, flounder. Oh, okay. oh, flounder. All right, and we are finally ready to head to Sanaa for dinner, but I just wanted to let you guys know the reason why Travis kind of surprised me with this room is certain times of year there are DVC websites and you can buy points from them for very, very cheap. Right now, I think to stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge, booking it through Disney is about 400 a night right now. And he was able to get one night for us for like 150, babe? Yeah. Like $150 here. So he kind of did it as like a pre-Valentine's Day thing for us, especially because like, this is the first place that me and him like kind of hung out when we were like starting to date because I was staying here. With the wedding coming up, it's definitely like our little special Valentine's staycation. A little bit early. Um, we're still gonna do a dinner on Valentine's, but this is this is really doing it for us right there. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. <laughs> and we'll put the link uh, to that website in the description so you guys can check out some of the prices yourself. And right in the lobby as we are heading to Kadani Village to go to Sanaa, right outside of Zawadi Marketplace, they actually are doing some beautiful animal carvings here. And inside this gift shop is just your classic Disney gift shop. They're definitely gonna have your Disney merch, as well as if you wanna buy some wine or some liquor. They also have tons of breakfast items and food items if you need for your room, including milk and breads and cereals and frozen pizzas. They basically have everything in this gift shop that you would need. So in case you guys didn't know, Kadani Village is like a separate area of Animal Kingdom Lodge, but it's about a 10 minute walk, but they do offer a shuttle that comes every 10 minutes. So especially when it's cold out or you don't wanna do the 10 minute walk, 
there's a shuttle that'll take you right to the other side of the lodge. We have our lovely driver here. Sorry, I didn't get your name. I'm Joseph, hello. Hi, Joseph, thank you for taking us to Kadani Village. <laughs> thank you for joining our journey today. Yeah, yeah, we're so excited. That was really fast, and Joseph was super nice. It's just a fun little shuttle ride to get you over to Kadani. Let's check out the Kadani lobby. Somebody probably just left. Yeah, and it is first come first serve. So we were gonna just like maybe walk away and come back later, but literally as we were walking away, when we thought there was no room in the inn, yeah, <laughs> they said come two back. Out of five, like <laughs> legit. There's only five bar stools. Bar stools. There are a couple tables in here, and we are literally right next to the restaurant Sanaa. So yeah, we, we definitely lucked out. We're gonna grab some drinks to start. And I'm gonna get the African Star Mojito. It's Star African Rum, Vanderhum Tangerine Liqueur from South Africa with fresh lime juice and mint for $14. And Travis is getting the smoked turkey. It's Wild Turkey 101 Bourbon, Regstad Black Cherry Bourbon, Grenadine, and Minute Maid with a hint of hickory smoked garnish with Luxordo Gourmet Cherries for $16. Cheers. Good. Tastes very mojito-y. Tastes smoky and turkey. <laughs> We're being very quiet because it really is like a peaceful place. And we did just find out from our lovely bartender Jason, I really thought you could only get the bread service at the lounge and the bread service obviously you can also get at the restaurant, that's what it's famous for. But he is informing us once Sanaf the main restaurant opens, you can get the full menu at the lounge without having a reservation. And then during the day when the lounge is open, you can only get the bread service and then a few appetizers. So, Which makes sense because they're not the running kitchen, a full kitchen's kitchen not open if yet. it's not open yet. But he also just told us that there's ordinarily for the bread service, you get nine, nine but there's a secret tenth sauce. Yeah, there's, so, so we're getting ten sauces instead of nine. But starting with the bread, on top's going to be a spicy nut. It's going to be a spicy udder, followed by a garlic ginger. Then we have a traditional, just a regular coating of butter. The darker one right here is going to be a paneer paritha. It's going to have Indian style paneer cheese inside. Finally here is the onion culture. And on your sauces, starting out with a mild sauce. And then it goes into a sweet, savory in the corner. The final three. This yeah. is a special sauce, it's going to be the spicy. <laughs> okay. So we have a cucumber rayada, mango chutney, tamarind, tomato date jam, red pepper hummus, garlic pickle, coriander, spicy jalapeno and lime, red chili sambal. My personal favorite, also the hottest, is going to be the peely peely. It's going to have a bird's eye chili pepper in there. Okay. We normally buy the chili peppers in. Right now we've been growing them at Epcot Center at the land. So oh, wow. So we can there and bring them on in. That's awesome. Okay. So that's the secret sauce. That's the secret These sauce. These combinations are very, very good when you're sweet and spicy. Yes. Awesome. Yay. Well, you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. you. That's like a sweet hot. Sweet hot. Good. Every single sauce that we've had so far has been amazing. But this one, this is the tenth one, the secret sauce that he told us about. So we haven't tried it yet because apparently it's extremely hot, but we're gonna try it for you guys. And it is called Pile Pile. So we're trying to find out if that means fire fire. Thank you. We're gonna do a little bit. We're just gonna do like a little tiny dab to start. 
Do we dink it and sink it? <laughs> dink it, sink it, guys. Here we go. It's creeping. It's a creeper. It's like, oh yeah, there it goes. There it goes. It's literally like a ghost pepper effect where it's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> Until it is. Until it is, and it is very hot, but the flavor is still really, really delicious. So they went to the chef to find out what does pile, pile mean, and of course, it means peppers. Duh. Duh. And we are back at the Jumbo house, and this is one of my favorite things about nighttime at Jumbo. Look at this beautiful fire pit that they have. You can come and grab a seat and warm your little toesies off right here. Well, we were super cozy by that fire. It was such a fast, wonderful staycation, but we still highly recommend just like getting one night here, either at Animal Kingdom Lodge or any of the resorts really. But if you wanna see more of our fun adventures, definitely make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell below. And for now, peace, love, and positivity. All the good things. We love you guys, Jumbo. Bye.